I have a very big history with with the Italian audience. My first ever European tour, or any tour whatsoever, even before I became like a real professional. When my father died in 97, we were invited by the city of Milan, and we did a tour in Italy. It was my first tour. I was 15. So Italy was the first country, really, to open its doors to the Egypt Eti and me without my father. You know, so I've always had that good relationship with the Italian audience. Uh, and also being a student of global history, being a student of the true history of man. You know, not this oppressive history that divides man, that is taught to everybody, you know, history of division, but the true history of the world, which makes us one. You know, I know that the Romans are the inheritors or in, inherited great African knowledge, you know. So for me, I've always been fascinated you know, I mean, Cesar Boggia, you know, and his whole family, the creation of Italy, the siege of Milan. The Italians have always been fascinating to me, and I uh, like the mannerisms of the Italians also. The closest to the Af with the hands. <laughs> Fanculo! <laughs> It is difficult for me to say what Nigeria really is. We are still looking for a complete definition, you know, truly. But what I can say is that Nigeria is a neo-colonialist, imperialist state governed, you know, governed by the African agents of imperialism on behalf of white supremacy. You know, like many African countries, you know, I'm not saying Nigeria is uh, unique in this. You know, um, although we have the so-called independence, you know, the resources and the opportunities and the wealth of Nigeria is not used primarily for the benefit of Nigerians or the state of Nigeria. Okay, well, <laughs> oh, me and Janel, we go way back to 2014, and I opened for her at the Hollywood Bowl, where we had a sold-out night together, and that's the, the day I actually met her. You know, I've always been close to the crew, so when she was working on the new record, they hit me up and they were like, yo, we need to work on these three tracks with us and see how it works and if we can make it happen. I was like, sure, man, send the music. You know, so our relationship, we've always had a good relationship because Janelle is such a big spirit, you know. She's such an embodiment of black futuristic art, you know, and I'm very happy to be affiliated with her and the causes that she stands for. So, yeah, we, 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 I've known her for a while, you know. I wouldn't say we are best of friends, but we are brothers and sisters. <laughs> There are lots of stories. But wait, I'll tell you one. When Peter Tosh came to Lagos, he visited our house. Peter Tosh smokes weed from a bottle. Big bottle like this, but they break the base. They put a thing on the, where you drink from, they put like a cloth, they tie it, and it fills it with weed, you know, and <laughs> you know. So yeah, Peter Tosh smokes with a bottle. <laughs> to be free, to wise, to be free now. You 